Minneapolis is rapidly becoming a Sharia swamp thanks to the liberal politicians who keep allowing Somali Muslims to invade the city at an alarming rate. Muslim migrants in the city have attempted to set up Sharia zones in the past, and once thriving American neighborhoods have now been completely transformed into cesspools of crime, as these migrants have completely taken over large sections of the community. As many Americans are still in shock over Justine Damon's murder at the hands of a Muslim Somali cop, the Minneapolis community has just been hurled into chaos yet again, after what a Muslim migrant tried to do at a crowded downtown area full of shoppers. Ever since Justine Damon was gunned down in cold blood, the local Somali Muslim community have grown excessively cocky, realizing that they can pretty much do whatever the hell they want. Since the murder, the Muslim-loving mayor of Minneapolis, Betsy Hodges, has been threatening locals with punishment if she witnesses anyone showing signs of Islamophobia or bigotry towards the Muslim community, even setting up an anti-blasphemy hotline in her city so the Somali migrants could call and report on anyone who harassed them or spoke negatively about Islam. Muslim-loving Mayor Betsy Hodges now with the full backing of Mayor Hodges to inflict their Sharia antics on the locals. Somali Muslim migrant Abdanzak Hamid Farah decided to take a trip to the downtown area of Minneapolis with a knife, where he began threatening to kill infidels, or anyone who called to alert the police. A brave witness finally decided to stand up to the Minneapolis Muslim, only sent Farah into more of a psychotic rage before authorities arrived. Southern Minnesota reported. It took a brave witness to stand up to a Minneapolis man allegedly pointing a knife at people and threatening others in downtown Farabalt. A complaint filed in Rice County Court alleges that Habdanzak Hamid Farah, 29, was in the 3rd Street and W area pointing a knife and threatening to kill anyone who called police. The call followed alleged odd behavior by Farah earlier that day. A witness told officers that Farah was eating raw beef with the same knife and holding the knife to patrons, asking them to play games. Farah was asked to leave the area, but returned, again holding the knife to people as he spoke with them. He was reportedly told to leave a second time, but later began chasing several people and threw the knife toward them. The brave witness confronted the Muslim, and Farah then turned his rage onto the unnamed man, threatening to kill him. But the brave citizen wasn't about to let his fellow Minneapolis residents be a victim that night to the religion of peace, and quickly pounced on the deranged Muslim, subduing him until police arrived, all while Farah kept yelling, I will kill whoever calls the police. Journing on Freedom Daily, renowned forensic investigator reveals famous musicians' deaths were because of Black Book 1 head of Hillary's breaking largest U.S. naval base on lockdown after what was found feet from it underwater scary Masai secretly tried to destroy Trump for 10 days on job, here's what else he was hiding, the Somali Muslim was charged with two counts of second-degree assault and threatening violence, all felonies, and fourth-degree damage to property, Southern Minnesota reported. It's unfortunate that this hero remains unnamed, because the Minneapolis community needs to recognize him for his heroic response. Had he not been there that day to subdue the psychotic migrant who was waving around a knife threatening to kill, who knows how many innocent people he could have harmed in this attempted terror attack. As the mainstream media works over time to bury both this incident and the murder of Justine Damon, Somali refugees continue to arrive to the city at an alarming rate, with an average of 7,000 Somali Muslims migrating to United States annually, with the majority of them being dropped off in Minneapolis. It's absolutely sickening what's going on right underneath our noses, as liberals keep advocating to bring more of these third world country savages in, as the startling love affair between the left and radical Islam continues. Muslim migrants continue to prove to us that they have no intentions of assimilating into Western society, and with these anti-American morons flooding cities at an unprecedented rate. Attacks on infidels L sadly become the new normal in places like Minneapolis. Share this story to commend this brave hero for taking out this Muslim terrorist. Prissy Holly, Trigger Warning Prissy Holly is a conservative journalist, professional sheetie starter and disgruntled military vet who is very outspoken and doesn't give a flying crap about your feelings when exposing the truth. If you want your daily dose of news delivered in the most politically incorrect way as possible, Make sure you follow Prissy.